So today I am going to harvest one of the loofah to see the two different ways that people harvest them for sponges. Some people have done it when they are green right before they turn brown. Other people do it when it's brown. I'm going to do at least one when it's green just so I can see the difference since it's my first time growing them. So I'm going to look. It's in there with the kukutsa. But I'm going to try to find one that is, I guess, dropping its chlorophyll and beginning to turn a little brown. You can see they're getting the little spots on them. That one's small. That one's... Uh, Here's a big one. Lots of spots. Oh, it's turning nice and yellow on the back. So let's take this one. Don't even try to don't even try to break them off the stem. That does not work. So even the shears might not get them off the stem but this is what we're going to try to undress so we have a loofah I decided to do two I already did one so I'm gonna do the second one so they're they get light and they get squishy um, so like I said, it's not still green green. It's starting to get a little black dots on it. So I'm doing two of them this way. And then I'm going to let the other one dry so I can compare the two different methods for harvesting them for sponges. So first I'm going to squeeze it. You can hear it cracking. You see some juice coming out of it. Let's just crack it. All the way up and down like that. Kind of like a boiled egg. And then I'm going to go in. Sorry, that was my koi pine feeder. And peel all of this off. Like that. It's slick because there's still a lot of pulp in it. But that's it out of the skin. And as you can see, you can't even see the seeds in it. But you can see this pulp. This pulp coming out of it. So what we're going to do is go over here to the hose and spray that pulp out of it. So I have the hose on angle and I'm just spraying with high pressure that green slimy pulp out of it. I think you have to rinse them no matter whether you harvest them dry or green. So I am going to pause the video and finish this. But you can already see that you can see the seeds. You can see how it's already showing the seeds through. But I'm going to finish it and come back. <clears throat> So back with the loofah after spraying it out, still quite a bit of pulp in it. Um, and I'll talk to you about the seeds here in a minute, but I shook it one time just to see if any of them would fall out. Um, but you can shake it. You can 
will go lit and seeds will come loose because they're stuck to the core. I don't know if you can see up in there, but they're stuck to this core in there. And there's still quite a bit of the pulp. But I am going to and when it's you can take it and bang it on concrete like this to loosen those seeds up and more of them will fall out um, or you can just let it dry from this stage and they will fall out on their own you can hold it up to the sun and see exactly how many is left in there but anyway, I'm going to shake the rest of these out and then I'm going to come back and show you the difference in the seeds um, based off of when you harvest them. Okay, so I wanted to go over what I've done. <clears throat> so a couple of weeks ago, I closed the gate and crushed this one. It was the oldest one on the plant, but it just didn't grow very big after that and it had turned yellow. So I went ahead and harvested this one. It was almost about to turn brown very small i cut it in half because i wanted to bleach it to see if bleaching it made it much different the only thing it did was make where this spot was that's where it got crushed it made that spot lighter but this small one that was close to turning brown made these black seeds that seem very mature seeds almost right the one that I did earlier, the first one, um, there's no seeds left in this one and it's completely dry, but it was yellow. It was a nice yellow, beginning to yellow, but not turning brown. It produced these seeds, which up close they looked like a soft shell turtle. It's the weirdest thing, but you can see that they're maturing seeds. This one's a dud. You can tell that it's flat and that one's flat. And the one that I just did that I showed you me washing, um, it still has nine seeds in it. Like I said, you can hold them up to the light and see exactly how many seeds are left. But because it was greener with a lot of pulp in it and it still has a lot of aloe vera like pulp, but it smells just like a cucumber. Um, it produced these really light color seeds, which I question the viability of them. I'm going to keep these for myself just to see for myself if I know if they are viable seeds. But anyway, so that's the difference in the, the three different color variations and maturity of the seeds based off of the stage that you pull them. So I would say highly viable, probably viable, questionable viability. And that's based off of how dark they were and close to turning brown um, so we'll see I do like a seed test next year just to kind of see how they germinate but anyway hope this was helpful for somebody